Oh man, I feel so different like looking into the camera with a new haircut, the no beard, it's just insane. And if you guys are new and you haven't seen the past two videos, I suggest go checking out the past two videos. You'll see I got a haircut as well as I took off the beard. But for today's episode, I'm actually doing orders right now. We have a bunch of packages. You guys are been killing it lately and I just want to appreciate, uh, give you guys some shout outs. So shout out to Julio, Jude, uh, Brandon, Muhammad, Jonas, Alhonzo, Lewis, Christian, Gustavo, Jonah, Brian, Anthony, Matt, Paul, Elijah, Eric, Kevin. So all these orders are going out right now. And I figured, you know what? Right next to the post office is Goodwill. We'll stop in there real quick. I don't really want to do a necessary thrifting vlog today. Um, just because I do have a lot of inventory. I got the kid robot shirts. I got those 20 shirts So I kind of want to dwindle down a little bit it you guys are killing it and we're using a lot of stuff But we are maxed out on the website at 100 items right now So I don't really want to like keep buying but if it's super crazy Obviously, we're gonna head and pick it up, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it So a little change of plan on my way to the post office. I try to use my brakes on my bike It didn't work at all. They were shot. So I stopped at a bike store Basically, they're gonna swap out my whole new brakes. So I come back in an hour and a half. I just Ubered back home, which is kind of good because I'm kind of hungry. So I was gonna make lunch anyways. And then once I pick up the bike, then I will go to the post office and hit up the thrift store. But for now, we're gonna get some lunch. Yesterday, Postmates was having free delivery. So I got a bake. Watch out, Jack, not for you. I got bake, what is it, bake pasta? I think it's bake pasta. I have no idea what the name of it, but it is so fire. So I'm at a thrift store. They just put out these Nautica jackets. They want $20 for this one. It doesn't have much hits though. It just has Nautica Summer Sports. So I think I'm going to leave this one behind. But this one, I think I'm going to grab. They want $25. It's a little bit much, but to be honest, it's really nice. It has full embroidery, Nautica Challenge. And like the forest green colorway. It's a size medium. I believe he yeah, has a size medium, so... Definitely gonna grab this. $25 is a little taxing, but I can still probably at least double my money just because of that nice embroidery. This is a really nice satin jacket made in USA, the game. I just like the embroidery. Dreamers, Brooklyn, New York. But like I said, summer is coming up, so I'm kind of staying away from jackets unless it's like super crazy, like that Nautica you don't find every day. So obviously I'm gonna grab that. Speaking of uh, summer, and then I talk about this Levo Sherpa. 10 bucks, I might get it, but caught my eye. Look at that. What is this? Oh man. Tommy Hilfiger. Color blocking jacket. The yellow on the inside. How much do they want? 20 bucks. It's not bad. A little Tommy hit. Fleece liner. I haven't found a Tommy girl in a while. This is super sick. I'm probably the same person that dropped this off. Dropped off the Nautica too. Old school vintage starter, Florida State Seminoles. Big logo on the back. Let's see how much they want though. 20 bucks also. Yeah, I just said I don't want to cop jackets because of summer, but maybe. We'll see. Old school Lee Sports, Dallas Cowboys crew neck. All embroidered, big logo. This is a pretty cool vintage uh, Tullex. Same work, more pay. Ha ha ha, the fools. This might be in the personal collection. Vintage Tommy jeans, little yellow v-neck. Has embroidery. I don't really cop v-necks, they want 10 bucks too, so probably gonna leave that. Wow, look what I just realized that's on the inside of this jacket. Oh man. Embroidered flag? I've never seen that before on the inside, and it's non-reversible either, which is kind of crazy. Package is finally going out. Well, first finding Goodwill, Ultra Boost. Don't know where the other one is, and a new rolling rack came out. Uh, let's find the other Ultra Boost first. Is this an ultra? No, it's pure boost. Oh man, I hope there's not missing one. 
found it. I'm not sure if these are 1.0, 2.0, 3.0s. They want 15 bucks. The boost isn't bad though. I feel like it can easily be clean. There is size 10 and a half. And then I found these challengers. Only found one though. Straight off the rolling rack. I guess today's a Nautica day. We had the Nautica competition. Big spell out collared shirt. Let's see what else we got on here. Nautica like floral, Nautica like zip up, Nautica short sleeve. It's funny, we first found the Nautica jackets at the other store. Now we found stuff here. While well, this good old is kind of dry, we're just gonna leave it the Ultra Boost and then the Nautica competition. Today's thrift store is fun. We have this old school vintage uh, Miami Hurricanes. A little like mock neck has a little hurricanes, but I figured if you didn't like that, you could always just cut out the turtleneck and just have it like a regular crew neck. You guys saw yesterday, I, you saw the other day I picked up a bunch of hard rocks. Well, the same person that I sold that to wants to grab this one, so I grabbed that. I might keep this for the personal, depending on how it fits, but it's a really nice Adidas. I thought it was Y3 at first, because look at the hem on the back. It's just super nice quality Adidas t-shirt. Old school Michigan football. And then another old school Miami Hurricanes 2001 college world series i'm probably gonna leave this i mean i thought it was miami hurricanes it's college though so i'm gonna leave this last time i was here someone actually asked me about this shirt and now that i think about it, the fading on it is super nice uh the print is just super big almost reminds me of uh harley davison so i'm gonna probably end up grabbing this got that bootleg tommy hilfiger little pocket collared shirt tommy hilfiger logo Damn, super fire, vintage 80s starter, pro line, the Vikings, all purple satin jacket with the gold accents, super clean, no flaws, almost looks brand new. Huge spell out, all cut and sew, you have like the Georgia Stadium Bulldogs Club, no tag or anything. Not sure if this is authentic, it doesn't have the Tommy, it just says hill figure, I've never seen that before, just hill figure embroidered with the 85. Strange. 2012, huge Run DMC logo. Got these brand new with tags, Nike pants. Has a little Nike hit right there. Z button pockets, little zip pocket. These aren't bad. This uh, thrift store has a $10 minimum, so I'm just kind of like finding stuff to add up to 10 bucks. So at the back of this thrift store, I'm not sure if it's employees or what, but there was like a bunch of clothes hidden behind here. And I just pulled, look at this, Miami Sand Knit. Now this Sand Knit jersey is probably from the 70s, 80s. That's crazy, such a fire find. Always check the women's section. Little white tag Nike picking out. Big swoosh, so fire. Super lightweight too, perfect for summertime. Hiding. Again, nice little gem hidden in the women's section. We have the Florida Mickey all embroidered, but like the multicolored on like this faded blue. Just super sick. The colors pop so nice. Oh man, the finds of today is honestly, today was a very good day. It was kind of funny. I was leaving my last thrift store that I was at. As soon as I was walking out, a reseller, like thrifter that I know, he was walking in and he kind of gave like a ha. And I was like, oh, well, I, sorry, sucks to suck. You just missed out on a starter jacket. You just missed out on a sandit jersey. You just missed out on a lot of stuff. But let's jump into today's finds. Now, quickly, if you aren't aware, I do sell everything. Link down below, emcvlogs.com. Every purchase does help support these daily videos. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. I do put the measurements on every single listing, so that way you guys can know if it fits you or not. So let's jump into it. So to start it off, I did grab this Nautica competition. Now, after getting it, I did notice there's a couple like deodorant stains. So I'm gonna quickly throw this in the wash before I price it for sale. Um, but it is uh, faded, uh, the size is a medium. Not a competition. This is another shirt that I have to wash just because it has some yellowing to it. I want to see if I can try to make it uh, white again. But I did grab this unemployed, same work, more pay. Size 10 and a half, these Ultra Boosts. I haven't tried cleaning, but what's kind of weird is like the boost is perfect. Like, I mean like the actual sticker boost is perfect inside. And then the boost outside is super dirty. So if I had to guess, maybe the person wore them one time, two times, and like just didn't clean them. Because if you see, it's like perfect white versus dirty. So it's like if they just left them like 
almost in dirt and just didn't clean them because the insides seem brand new and like the prime knit seems brand new, but they are size 10 and a half. This size large, we have the old school Miami Hurricanes. Now it is a mock neck, little turtleneck, but I feel like if you don't want this, you could easily cut it out and it'll almost just be like a regular crew neck. It does have a little accents of orange and white. About a medium, we do have this old school Michigan football. Size small, we have Adidas shirt. I just picked this up because the quality is really nice and then how it has like that hem back or seamed back going through the outline. It almost reminds me of like Y3. Getting into the jackets, I did end up grabbing this corduroy Levi Sherpa jacket. It is a size large. Size medium, but also could fit a large. We have the vintage starter. Florida State Seminoles little pullover and what's nice about it is it does have the zipper on the sides to kind of like make it uh, nice and tapered on the bottoms. Obviously a half zip with a little starter logo. Then on the back we do have the huge FSU logo. Old school Nautica size medium but could probably fit a large as well. We have the J class embroidered in yellow. Then down the left sleeve it does have Nautica challenge in the navy colorway. Little Nautica on the back. Super crazy, one of the best finds of today. We have this old school Tommy Hill figure jacket color blocking with the red, navy, and green. I really like how it's like a silver button. And then again, it is embroidered inside. It's not reversible though, which is kind of strange that they would put uh, such a big embroidered logo. Maybe, I mean, granted, maybe you could rock it reversed, but it's not intended, it's not made for reverse. But either way, just a super crazy. We haven't found a vintage Tommy jacket in so long, probably over a year plus, just because the thrift has been so dry. Now, getting on to the stuff I just got recently. We have these brand new, I did pick them up brand new with tags. It's a size large. I really like how it's like kind of like contrasting color on the inside. Usually track pants, you see the white on the outside, but it's kind of nice to have it on the, on the inside. You have the little Nike hit right there. It is button pockets. And then on the back, we do have a little yellow swoosh with a zipper pocket. Super faded Alaska shirt. Again, somebody said they wanted to pick this up. I'm pretty sure I know who it is. I'm gonna send them a DM and tell them I picked it up. But if not, it will be listed linked down below. And it's probably about an XL. Florida on like this faded blue with the multicolored, probably size large. Old school Tommy Hill figure. This is gonna be one that I need to wash, maybe even dye because there is a bunch of uh, yellow spots all throughout, but I couldn't pass up that flag. Just super sick. I wish it was a t-shirt, but yeah, can't go for everything. Size medium, we did pick up this old school Nike, the big swoosh windbreaker, and this is super thin, perfect for um, summertime. Like if you could see it's all mesh going straight to the thing. So this is gonna keep you not uh, warm, but you know, it's nice for those little windy days or uh, whatnot, little navy swoosh right there. Old school, again, Sanit is probably from the 80s. Uh, we have this McGregor, Sanit, Miami. I'm guessing this is Hurricanes, maybe the Dolphins. I'm not exactly sure. I do have to do research, but it is a size XL with a little mesh jersey. And the last find of today, we did pick up this 80s, I believe, vintage starter satin jacket. You have the Vikings little starter logo right there and it is a size XL. So those were the amazing finds of today. Again, you can find everything linked down below emcvlogs.com or DM me on Instagram at DITR954. I can definitely hook you up with a bundle deal or if a price is too expensive, I'll definitely try to work with you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog at 8 p.m. And don't forget guys, let's get it. <laughs>